Now it's little bit inner meaning. Can you steal human beings? The answer is no. Some people do. Do you know when I was first time in one country, they said, do you know Swamiji? I said, yes, our country is famous for kidnapping. I said, what do you mean? He said, we'll kidnap you. I said, look, neither I'm a kid and you will take me. So there is no kidnapping. You can do Swami napping. Then whom we steal or somebody stealing, when one finds that they don't belong to me, we steal. You will steal something if you think that I don't have. I need it, you steal. You will get greed when you think that I don't have, I want to have. So when one has this incompleteness within, when one has the attitude, they don't belong to me, that's why I take it. So I will tell that it is mine. When I could not get it through hard work, I did it through some improper way of bringing it. So this is and whatever you are stealing or anybody is possessing, it is just a name and form, just a name and form. What you are possessing? A house. House is a name, house is a form. What you are possessing? A car. Car is a name, car is a form. What you are possessing? Some jewelries, name and form. People, those who are busy with name and form, they are stealing. Whether you steal mentally or steal physically, we steal mentally also. When you exp or experience greed, it is mental stealing, stealing. So it is said, osteya non-stealing is not just non-stealing, it is a life of living, freedom from the clutch of greediness. Wherever there is greed, there is strong desire to have it. And when there is strong desire to have it, and which I cannot get it through my hard work, we still, people take bribe, people become corrupt, because they have too much of expectation, too much of greed, and then this. When a person has the understanding that all belong to me, what can I steal? And nothing I need, two approaches, nothing I need, or all belong to me. 